that I'm at an all time. Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tropics here and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Now before we start off today's video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the recent support. Also, check the description down below for a giveaway modded account link so you guys can go enter for a chance to win a modded account. Now guys, if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. Also, smash that like button to try to reach 100 likes on today's video. If you already have 100 likes while you're watching today's video, make sure to smash that like button anyway so we can reach this video out to more people. But guys... Before we start today's video, I just want to say what you guys need to do is number step number one. Get any of the cards that I am displaying right now in the screen, and I'll also display it down in the description down below. From there, you're just going to rip the driver's side door off. Then you're going to park the car like I do now with the driver's side on the curb. Then you're going to call Gerald if you do not already have a Gerald mission ready. Open it up, and then once you open it up, you're going to start the mission back out right away. Then you're going to get back into that car and start driving it as fast as you can. You need to be really fast. You're just going to get it in it and then drive away. Now, guys, if the car does not automatically stop by itself without you pressing the brake, what you need to do is you're going to restart it. If you do have the cops like I did, you're just going to call Lester and call the cops off of you. From there, you're going to redo this. So you're going to go face your car with the car door facing to the left, the passenger side facing to the right. Then you're going to redo it, opening up, up the job, then quitting right away. And then you should notice that your car actually is indeed locked and you should get kicked out. And then you should notice that there should be a duplicated car down the street. Get in that car and then drive it over to your garage. And what you're going to do is you're going to knock open or off that driver side window or door. And then you're going to open up your interaction menu. And you're going to drive so that that positioned where the door should be ripped off. And you're going to position that to where that blue ring is right over there. You're going to park it exactly like I do right here. And you want to be able to do it so that you actually do get sucked into your garage when you do exit out of your vehicle. So guys, this is the perfect time to thank Brun Tango for letting me use today's gameplay. I'll link his, his channel in the description down below. So guys, after you do get sucked into your garage, you're going to walk straight out. And then you're going to open your interaction menu yet again so that you can actually get in the car and drive over to Los Santos Customs. So as you guys can see right now, I am exiting my garage. And then I'm turning around and I'm going to open up my interaction menu so that the car actually does come up. It may take a second actually for the car to reappear, sometimes it does stay there and sometimes it actually does glitch out and it will have to reappear. So you're going to open up your interaction menu and then you're going to get inside the car, drive away so you do not get sucked into your garage. As you can see I am driving away and I did not get sucked out of my garage. Then you're going to drive over to Los Santos Customs I am driving to right now. I'll display the image on the map on GTA 5 right now. So I'm going to go over to the Los Santos Customs right over here, right off the highway. So guys, this is crucial. You guys are going to want to come over to this Los Santos Custom because it does a will work for the best to get your money within doing the solo duplication money glitch. So guys, once you do get over there, you're going to park exactly like you do and you're just going to go right into the Los Santos Customs. And then you're going to change the limo tint or any of the tint. I just use the limo tint. And then you're going to park exactly like I do now. Open up the jailed mission, load into the jailed mission, and then quit out of it again. From there, you're going to quickly run into your car, and then go into the Los Santos Customs, and then respray your car, does not matter which one, and then exit out, and then do not touch your controller for about a second or two. Then you can drive away, and then you should notice that there is actually a duplicated car. From there, you're going to get in the car that you are in, and smash it up, and then you're going to get into the duplicated car, Go into Los Santos Customs, but make sure you're looking back at that other car that you did smash up. From there, you can put a tracker on this car, but this is just to make sure that we're going to duplicate this car to make sure that it did work. From there, you can just go ahead and throw that car anywhere. You're going to get into that other car. This is just testing to make sure the duplication glitch does work. So now you're going to get back in that destroyed car, and you're just going to fully soup up that car. So as you can see here, I did fully soup it. This car will only get you about $300 or $140,000, so it won't get you that much, but it'll give you enough so that you can do the new duplication glitch that I'll link down in the description down below. So then you're going to do park a car just like I do, load up that JR mission again, back out, run into the car, run into the Los Santos Customs, and then respray the car. Now, it can be any of the options. It can even be the Pearl Lesson. From there, you're going to back out. Don't touch your controller for about a second or two, preferably about five seconds. Then you can move it and you should notice that their car is duplicated. From there, you're going to go get in the car that you are in right now. 
and then you're going to go and destroy that car a little bit just so that it does not despawn because you're going to keep on duplicating this vehicle. So as you can see here, I do destroy it up a little bit. You're also going to want to park it exactly where I do, right here, right next to that little barrier. Just destroy it up a little bit so it does not despawn and you do not lose all your money. So as you can see here, I'm just destroying it up a little bit, reversing it into that barrel or into that barrier. And then I'm just going to leave it there so that it, I can actually repeat this glitch with this car. So you're just going to leave it up against that ba barrier. And then I'm going to get out of my car and I'm going to go over to the new duplicated car. And you actually can put any tracker on it if you desire. Or you can just sell it right there. But since you will actually be hitting the daily limit, I would recommend selling them as many as you can. And then go over and then going to make them your tracker so you can sell them later on. So you guys, now I'm going to go and get into the duplicated car that I did not destroy yet. And I'm going to go into Los Santos Customs. Once I'm in Los Santos Customs, this is where you can go ahead and sell it if you desire. Or you can go ahead and you can actually uh, make it a tracker. So like I said before, you're just going to make sure that you are facing the car, pressing the right analog stick in while driving into Los Santos Customs. From there, you can do, like I said before, anything you desire. You can go ahead and sell it for $130,000, or you can sell it for as much as the car actually does sell for, just for this video purpose, it did sell for about $130,000, $140,000. So guys, I will show you that you actually can put a tracker on this, but this is not the car you're going to duplicate. You can only use street cars in this glitch, okay? Only street cars. No car from your garage, only street cars. Okay, from there, you can go ahead and just park that wherever you want. Just make sure it's out of the glitch area if you did put a tracker on it. So then once you do that, you're going to just go get into that new duplicated car because we're going to do this glitch yet again to make even more money as so you guys can get a better feel of this glitch. Okay, from there, we're just going to park like we have been before with that our little tire hitting that little grate right there or right next to the grate. From there, you're going to pull open your phone, go to the job list, go to the Gerald mission, load up the Gerald mission, and then once you load up, you're going to back out right away and go into the Los Santos Customs and respray any of the options. It does not matter which option you do respray, it can even be the pearlescent. So you're going to run back into your car, then drive into Los Santos Customs. From there, like I said, you're just going to respray any of the options. It does not matter which option it is. It can be the primary, secondary, pearlescent, doesn't matter if it's classic, matte, crew, does not matter, it just has to be any of the respray options. As you can see here, I am now going to respray the car, and I changed the pearl lesson as you can see I am doing right now. As you can see, I do change it, and then I back out of Los Santos Customs, and don't move my controller for about a second or two. From there, I do move my controller, and then you can notice that there, there actually is a new duplicated car. Then you can go ahead and go destroy this car that you are in right now. You have to destroy it up a little bit so it does not despawn. From there, you can just keep on rinse and repeating this glitch until it does work so you guys can make millions within GTA 5 Online. So guys, I hope you did have a great day. And if you didn't, make sure to smash that like button. Also, subscribe if you are new to my channel. But with that said, I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.